the courageous superheroes finally catch the little girl. We know what you are, Luna. What we don't know is why. We knew you'd fall for it, Ratchet. You can't resist playing the hero. We just needed to get you to our lab so we could extract your DNA, and this was the easiest way to do it. But why do you need his DNA? We Technomites are tired of being taken advantage of. Everyone uses our technology, but no one gives us credit. Our robots are strong, but as you have demonstrated, they are no match for Ratchet. So, we're making our own Ratchets. What? Using our advanced cloning technology, Emperor Otto has begun creating an entire army of Ratchets. His clone factory is turning them out as we speak. You are already too late to stop him. Very nice to see you, although I'm sure you've seen enough of yourself already. <laughs> Otto, I am sorry that no one gives you credit for your work, but there are other ways to earn respect. <laughs> you actually bought that cheesy story. This isn't about credit for our work or respect or whatever nonsense you've come to believe. This is about power, and what is more powerful than intelligence? The Rhino? Nothing is stronger than the power of the mind. Do you see this area behind me? That is what this has all been leading up to. I have developed the technology to transfer the intelligence from the being in one chamber to the being in the other. What? After I have grown these clones to full size, I'm going to use my ratchet army to gather every intelligent being in the solar system. Then, I will transfer all of their brain power to me to become the most intelligent entity the universe has ever known! That is pure evil! <laughs> None of this will happen until you get by us. Easier done than said. Looks like Otto overlooked one thing. I'm not half as good without you. True. Papa! Is that you? Yes, it's me, you idiot. I mean, son. Now be a good boy and get those two out of here. Why did you make Quark so tiny? I've got a job to do, son, and it's time I take care of your little playmates. Shooting. Very clever, too. <laughs> now, where were we? 
This is getting better all the time. Can I have a piggyback ride? You should be more careful. You almost hit me with that. What is it, pal? <laughs> These are Quark's real parents. Scrunch says they were killed by defective equipment created by the Technomites. Well, that really bites. Should we tell Quark? I think he already knows. So now, because of him, I'll never know my real parents. I recognize your parents from the photo. They were great superheroes in their day. You should be very proud. Somehow, I don't think pride is what he's after. How could you do something so evil? You knew the truth and you used it against me to get what you wanted. Now, I'm going to get what I want. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't know how it works! 
You think I'm an idiot, do you? Well, how about having this brain instead of yours? You want intelligence? You're about to get... the uh, the opposite of that. I don't think that's such a good idea, Quark. Why don't you climb out of there and let's see if we can calm you down a bit, huh? Yes, Quark. You should consider what you're about to do. Otto is right. You do not know the effect of this machine. At this point, I don't care. Oh no! Now what are we gonna do with him? It appears that Scrunch just added another family member. Great! Can we get out of here now? I've got another massage scheduled on Pokotaru in an hour. You got it.
Keep your eyes peeled, Clank. It's gotta be here somewhere. Huh? I thought I heard something.
give it back, Slag. He picked the wrong spot for a fight, me boy. Perhaps a flogging will teach you to meddle in the affairs of Corsairs. Such a good one, Captain! You made a rhyme! <laughs> Shut up, Pete! Aye, aye, Captain, shut up! <laughs> Ready to bilge and step aside. The rats dine on Lombax tonight. <laughs> As far as the eye can see, each with a point of grog and a smile for old slug. <laughs> Fare thee well, cruel galaxy. Fare thee well. Captain? Captain? No! Why? The city decimated by my enforcers, your race took refuge behind these walls. They believed if they left this dimension, I would leave Polaris unscathed. <laughs> You're lying! Lombaxes don't run. Is that so? Dimensionator! I the Lombaxes! Keeper of the Dimensionator and his infant son. I took great pleasure in destroying your father, Longbax. Pity he sent you to Solana before we could meet. I offer you this one chance. Go home. Join your race. Or stay and suffer. If I leave you with the Dimensionator, no one will be safe. Not the Lombaxes, not my friends. I'm not going anywhere until it's destroyed. Typical Lombax. So noble, so courageous, and so very dead. No! <laughs> no! Work, 
you infernal machine! Huh, you were right. Wormhole devices are dangerous. What? Oh, come on. It's not like one of those hollow films where you think the guy's dead and suddenly... Ah! So screwed. Are you sure you're a long bat? <laughs> Kill me, Longmax. Only I know your true purpose in this galaxy. Only I know your true name. The crack my return is inevitable. Your kind will never be safe. Do you hear me? It's broken. Looks like something snapped off the primary reflux coil. I believe it is missing a three and three quarters centicubit hexagonal washer. Dimensionator, find home! It's been far too meddlesome to be left breathing the captain's air, me hearty. Any final words before I nail your carcass to the pike? I'm afraid your prayers have fallen on deaf ears, me hearty. Ready your head for the pike and your body for the locker! Welcome aboard, me hearty. Ye come in a fair breeze. I was just about to gut your dear Sally like a Marquesian trout. <laughs> this is your last chance, Slag. Just hand over Talwin and the star. Tis a fool who thinks he can reason with a man whose head he once took. Might be wanting to return the favor. <laughs> Ready the locker, Davy. Slag's got one more for ya. I've been waiting for this day a long time. Time be hardy. Try not to die too quickly. You know, there's a spot of irony in all this madness. For once, it's you who's trying to steal from me. After all, it ain't your fulcrum star. It's mine!
avoiding ye, eh? No more running, Slag! Give me the Fulcrum Star! Ugh! Familiar threats from a tired adversary! Let's end this quarrel once and for all! The Pirate Way! By Brian Tarty!
Warning. Unauthorized sonic device on approach. Sir, watch out! It's the hypersonic brainwave scrambler! Warning. Unauthorized sonic device in Sector 3. Here it comes! Your time has come, hypersonic brainwave scrambler. Let us dance. <laughs> that was amazing, sir! That thing will level the entire city just to get us. Come on, we have to take it out. I'll cover you from the air. You just find a way to stall it. Stall it? It's the size of a building! How do I get myself into these situations?
hostile ships detected. Well, well, well. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, looks like this long box is lost. What do you say, girls? Shall we help him find his way? Cathy, we picked up a signature 3,000 kilo cubits north of Orak Minor. It's a long back ship. Hmm, General Asman. The bounty's up to 2 million bolts on him. Libra, be a good girl and take care of our friend. We'll kill the Elder. General, come in. You've got hostile ships inbound. I see them. They're Valkyries. Expert pilots away from the Farrier. I'll lose them in the asteroid belt. You just head for Lumos. Just you and me alone, Max. Show me what you got. Gladiators of Terraclon 6. My body is in peak physical condition. My sense is sharp as Trillium Razor. Release the War Grok! Everything! 
Crushko, Zorthan the Irritable, and Captain Romulus Slash! Get him! Die, Lord Sidekick! Now, Blade! Thing. I understand your proud warrior ways. The Nabla tribesmen of Florana once referred to me as or he with mighty pecs who had delivered us serenity. But we cannot kill this creature. You must kill the Wargrunt or die! Quark! This thing's trying to eat me! This Lombax is young. He does not understand that being a hero is 45% strength, 60% bravery, and 10% raw intelligence. <laughs> That's 115%! You're welcome. Please, take me instead. All that I ask is that you name something impressive in my honor. Perhaps a school, or a food court. Who's a good war rock? You are. Yes, you are. I'm gonna make you snowball. You've gotta be kidding me. I ho snowball away! You lasted much longer than I expected. Hasn't it has taught you well? Where is he, Porcelain? Let's see. Now where did I put him? There's the airlock. There's the torture chamber. The day spa.
Give me a status update on Clank's transmission. The coordinates appear to be accurate, but the signal has weakened by 72.3%. That means Clank's in trouble. Hold on, pal. I'm coming. I'm actually happy you survived the training course. It would have been a shame to lose such a worthy opponent to some cheap machine. Speaking of cheap machines, how much is your boyfriend paying you to do his dirty work? Tom, <laughs> and an amazing observation coming from some orphan doomed to spend his entire life alone. <laughs> you know that robot of yours who's ready to kick up his little metal feet and stay in the great clock forever? Yeah, he wants to leave you, didn't you know that? Don't worry, I'll kill the both of you before he gets the chance! Clank! What have you done to him? Oh, nothing compared to what I'm about to do to you. Are you done with the killing? Hey, pal. How you doing? Fine. You? Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just gonna lie here for a while, though, okay? Pay for that! 
far enough, Nefarious. Step away from the transport. You! How is this possible? You should be dead! On behalf of Galactic Authorities, we hereby charge you with willful disruption of the space-time continuum. Shut down the transport and surrender quietly. Look at you! Free for the first time in years, inches from your destiny, and what do you do? Run right back to playing backpack to us, Squishy! You're nothing but a pathetic sidekick! We should hang out sometime. That's it. No one talks to Clank that way. When this is over, I'll back whatever decision you make. But first, how about one final hurrah so we can kick this guy's butt? When I'm finished killing you, I think I'll rewind time. So I can do it again! And again! And again! <laughs> A long time for this! Lawrence, fall back to the outer perimeter! Let no damage befall our ship! Falling back, sir. Happy fighting. That was luck! Hypernova defense laser! Watch away, sir. Stand clear. You'll pay for what you did to my eye!
kill it! Oh, come on! Snap out of it! Okay, no need to panic. We just need to find Lawrence before he takes that... Escape pod. 40 seconds until impact. Frank, it's been one heck of a ride.
complicated. It may take a little time to decode. done to the sector. How many lives are you going to let Vendra ruin just to open a few portals? She's strong-headed, I'll give you that. Hard to blame her, though. Can you imagine seeing your kind right there, close enough to touch, but impossible to reach? Yes. Yes, I can. But wanting something too badly can change you into something you're not. It doesn't matter. I'm her guardian, and since you want to hurt her, I suppose I'm just going to have to kill you.
if I do? Can my sister help me turn into someone who could fight back? You arrested her, you threw her in prison. The only family I have. She's putting people in danger. All she wants is a family. Sure. Now you draw your blasters. Twenty years we've waited to be reunited with the Nethers. I expected this from the Polaris Defense Force, not from you. You should understand! If you let that monster cross over, everyone in the galaxy will be in jeopardy. I suppose you're right. But let's do it anyway. Dimensionator! somewhere. Hello? Miss Prague? If you can hear me, please tell me where you are. The Nether may need your help when you find her. The Nethers use special protective armor to survive the crossing. Without it, she may be weak. Find me. Your brother helped us repair the Dimensionator. Come, it is time to leave this dimension. I can't. I'm too weak. I need something to help me break the barrier. I will help you find something.
Try this. Stand back. It worked! Bring me another. Ratchet, I have located Vendra. I am working to free her as we speak. Mrs. Zircon. You know, just fighting an interdimensional monster the size of a spaceport. Netter to free her from a stasis field. I am on my way. Hang on, Miss Prague. Just get out of here. You never want to see this place again. Ratchet, I have Fendra. We will be there soon.
just us now. I was horrible to you. Why did you protect me? You're my sister. Where are we going? A deal's a deal. We're going to jail. Put me down! I will not go to jail! Vendra, shut up! We're going to jail and that's final. Can we still be evil? No! Is that the Dimensionator? Yep. I assume it is no longer functional. Nope. 